Dear students, welcome to my classroom. In previous part of the chapter polynomials, we solved the problems in exercise 2.5 up to 8th one. And in this class, we are going to solve some more problems in that exercise starting from 9th problem. Okay, let us go for 9th problem in exercise 2.5. The ninth problem is verify the first one is given that x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square and the second one is given that x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square using some non-zero positive integers and check by actual multiplication can you call these as identities so that is the question we have to verify the given two results by taking uh, some non zero positive integers in place of variables and after that we have to check whether it is true or not by actual multiplication also okay so take the first one the first one is x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. So let us take some uh, non zero positive integers for the values of x and y. So I am taking here x equal to 3 and y equal to 7. Then what is the value of left hand side and what is the value of right hand side? If both are equal, then the given identity is true. Okay. So first let us find the value of LHS. Here the LHS is x cube plus y cube. By substituting x equal to 3, y equal to 7 in this expression, the value is equal to 3 cube plus 7 cube. And we know 3 cube is 27 and 7 cube is 343. And the sum is equal to 370. Now let us find the value of RHS. So, RHS is x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square and substitute x equal to 3 and y equal to 7 in this expression also. So then we get 3 plus 7 into 3 square minus 3 into 7 plus 7 square. That is we are substituting x equal to 3, y equal to 7. And now the sum 3 plus 7 is 10 and into 3 square is 9 minus 3 into 7 is 21 plus 7 square is 49. Now the product is equal to 10 into 49 plus 9, 58 minus 21 is 37. So, 10 into 37 is equal to 370. Okay. We got LHS equal to 370 and RHS is also equal to 370. That is LHS equal to RHS. So, hence the given equation is proved. Okay. Now, let us check by actual multiplication. For that, take the expression on right hand side. On right hand side, we have x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. So, let us multiply x plus y by x square minus x y plus y square. So, we get x into x square minus x y plus y square plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. So, x into x square is x cube minus x into xy is x square y plus x into y square is xy square plus y into x square is x square y plus y into minus xy is minus xy square plus y into y square is y cube. Now in this expression we have minus x square y plus x square y which can be cancelled and plus xy square minus xy square will also be cancelled. Now we remains with x cube plus y cube. 
which is equal to LHS. So, again by actual multiplication also we got the same result LHS equal to RHS. So, we can say that x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. So, we can call this result as an identity because for by checking uh, actual multiplication as well as by taking examples we got LHS equal to RHS. Okay. If you take any positive non-integers, any sorry, any non-zero positive integers, we get the values on both sides equal. That's why we can call this result as an identity. Okay. So let us take second one. The second one is we have x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. So, in the same way like that is like um, previous one we can prove this one. So, put x equal to 5 and y equal to 4. Then the value of LHS that is x cube minus y cube is equal to 5 cube minus 4 cube and we know 5 cube is 125 and 4 cube is 64. So, and 125 minus 64 is 61. So, we got the value of LHS is equal to 61. And now take RHS that is x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. And this product is equal to the, by substituting x equal to 5 y equal to 4 we get 5 minus 4 into 5 square plus 5 into 4 plus 4 square. And we know 5 minus 4 is 1 and 5 square is 25, 5 fours are 20, 4 square is 60. So, the product is equal to 25, 20, 45 plus 16, 61. Okay. Again, we got RHS is 61. Therefore, here also LHS equal to RHS. So, by taking some non-zero positive integers, we checked the given result and let us check by actual multiplication. For that take the expression on right hand side that is x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. So, let us multiply these two expressions. Now, x into x square plus x y plus y square minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. So, that we get x cube plus x square y plus x y square minus x square y minus x y square minus y cube and plus x y square minus x square y and plus x y square minus x y square are equal, equal to 0 and uh, we remains with x cube minus y cube. So, which is equal to LHS. Therefore, we can say that x cube minus y cube is equal to x, x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. Here also by taking some examples for x and y and also by checking actual multiplication the given result is true. So, we can say that the result is an identity. Okay. And let us go for a tenth problem. Factorize number 1 27a cube plus 64b cube and number 2 343y cube minus 1000 using the above results. What are the above results? That is the results which have, we have proven in the previous problem that is the ninth problem and what are the results x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square and x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square. So, using the two results we have to factorize the these two expressions. Okay. So, take the first one. 27a cube plus 64b cube and we can observe that the 27a cube can be written as 3a whole cube and 64b cube can be written as 4b whole cube. Okay. So, there is 3a whole cube plus 4b whole cube exactly which is of the form x cube plus y cube and we have seen that x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square where x is 3a and y is 4b. 
so that we can write 3a cube plus 4b cube as 3a plus 4b into 3a square minus 3a into 4b plus 4b whole square. That is we are substituting x equal to 3a and y equal to 3b on right hand side. Now this one equal to 3a plus 4b into 9a square minus 12ab plus 16b square. So the factors of 27a cube plus 64b cube are 3a plus 4b into 9a square minus 12ab plus 16b square. Okay. Now let us take the second one. The second one is 343y cube minus 1000. Here also the first one 343y cube can be written as 7y whole cube because 343 is the cube of 7 and 1000 is the cube of 10. So we can write this one as 7y whole cube minus 10 cube and it is also of the form x cube minus y cube which is equal into x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square and now uh, substitute x equal to 7y y is equal to 10 on right hand side that is we get 7y minus 10 into 7y whole square plus 7y into 10 plus 10 square and we know 7y whole square is 49y square and 7y into 10 is 70y plus 10 square is 100. So the result is equal to 7y minus 10 into 49y square plus 70y plus 100. So the factors of the given polynomial 343y cube minus 1000 are 7y minus 10 and 49y square plus 70y plus 100. Okay, that is the 10th problem. And take the 11th one. Factorize 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz using identity. Okay. So, first write the given polynomial 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz. And in this polynomial, we can observe that first three uh, words, sorry. First three terms are perfect cubes because first one is 27x cube which can be expressed as 3x whole cube and second one is y cube, third one is z cube. Okay, so we can write these, these as uh, 3x whole cube plus y cube plus z cube minus the last term 9xyz is thrice the product of the basis of first three terms. That is 3 into 3x into y into z. Okay. Now, it is exactly is of the form x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz which is equal into x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. And in this expression, x is 3x, y is y, z is z. So, we can factorize this one as 3x plus y plus z into 3x whole square plus y square plus z square minus 3x xy into y means 3x into y minus y into z is y into z minus z into x is z into 3x. So that the expression is equal to 3x plus y plus z into 3x whole square is 9x square plus y square plus z square minus 3x into y 3xy minus yz minus z into 3x is minus 3zx. So, the factors of given polynomial are 3x plus y plus z and 9x square plus y square plus z square minus 3xy minus yz minus 3zx. Okay. And now take the 12th problem. Verify that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to half into x plus y plus z into x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. So that is the question. So to prove the given result, let us take the expression which is on right hand side. Okay, And the expression on right hand side is half into 
x plus y plus z into x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. So let us expand all these terms. There is x minus y whole square, y minus z whole square and z minus x whole square. By expanding these terms, we get x minus y whole square is x square minus 2xy plus y square. And y minus z whole square is y square minus 2yz plus z square. As well as z minus x whole square is z square minus 2zx plus x square. And in this big bracket, we have uh, two x squares. That is x square plus x square, which is equal to 2x square. And also we have two y squares y square plus y square is 2y square and also z square plus z square is 2z square and also we have three more terms there minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx so that we can write off into x plus y plus z into 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx and now in this big bracket we can take two common so let us take 2 common then we get half into x plus y plus z into 2 into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx so that we can cancel 2 in both numerator and denominator and we remains with x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx and we know that x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus z y z minus z x is equal into x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z. So, this is the result. Okay. This is the result which we have to prove. So, that is all for today and in next class we are going to complete this exercise. Until then, see you. Bye.